Hey everybody, welcome back to Dragon Warrior. We're back here in the present, back from Orf. We've got a new companion. Yeah, let's talk to him. A Mr. Gabo. Oh, they're all lost in thought. Hey, Mom. Welcome home, Carrie. How are you? Are you pushing yourself too hard? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I think all you do is make me worry. Now go make things better with your friends. Oh. I thought she'd say something about Gobbo. Gobbo? Gobbo? Gobbo, Gobbo. Gobbo, 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 Me, 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 Gobbo. Me. <laughs> it's me. A, it'd be a weird night with everybody in the same bed. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, maybe like Gobbo shares, like he can sleep on the floor because he's a dog. And then, you know, Kiefer probably goes and I bet Kiefer, like, okay, realistically, Kiefer takes the bed, right? Like, Kiefer, he thinks that he deserves the bed. I mean, by divine right, because he's royalty. But, I mean, you'd also have to fight Maribel for that bed. Let's go yeah. check in with the woodsman, too. But, I mean, it seems like um, Maribel would probably be conscious of her place in society. Oh, uh, sure. Oof. Hi, Kerry. How are things going? Well, I hope. Gabo, Gabo. That's the spirit, Gabo. Do your best to help your friends. <laughs> <laughs> He's so energetic. By the way, Kerry, whoever released the monster from Outseed is still out there. Find that tyrant as soon as possible, but and put an end to his nefarious ways. Uh-oh. The tyrants in this game? Mr. X? Yeah. Until then, the two of us will wait here. Woof. Hmm. Okay, Carrie. Let's go figure out who uh, who opened the rock door from the outside. And we have a new friend, too. Although, he doesn't really look it. He doesn't look like a friend? All right, all right. Just hold tight for a bit. I'll take out the bad guys in an instant. Gabo was lost in thought. So sick. Gabo so is this licking is our... his butthole. <laughs> Gabo! Uh, this is our first um, companion that wasn't of like the starting cast, you know, like when we got them from the past, which I think is cool. Yes, so he, uh, Gabo's a, a man out of time. Uh, uh, the inn. Yes. Oh, so we're just uh, popping around to get some uh, folks for uh, Sims Town. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, bunny girl. Nice. I've had the dream of being the cutest bunny girl ever since I was a kid. I, ju I look just like a professional bunny girl after all my training, don't I? <laughs> I can't wait to seduce men at bars and casinos. Let's see where should I go first. Hey, if you're going to dream, dream big, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, let's mention Sim. Carrie described Sims down. That sounds marvelous. Thanks. I'll go there immediately. I'm Charles, uh, I mean, Miss Cham. Please, remember me? <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> I do enjoy recruiting characters oh, yeah. for the town. It's just like such a neat little mechanic. Uh, it's like not intrusive at all, you know? Like you, you just kind of explore around and... Just engage with it when you have was time. Was that Princess Lisa up at the... Oh, she was. Weird. Cool. She was in a different spot. See if I can remember what voice, uh... Just like whiny, like kid voice, I think. Brother, you came back to to the castle. Brother, you plan on continuing on in the travels with Carrie's party, don't you? I'm gonna answer for him. Yes. I knew it. Knowing you, I thought that's what you should do. Here's why I think Father doesn't want you to go. Well, of course, there's always the fact that you're the prince. But more than that, I think that, as a father, he wants to keep his son away from danger. And so, brother, I would say outright that I wish you wouldn't go, but I wish you would think of how father feels, too. Oh, I thought she would say something about, uh, about Gabo. I thought about Lisa, but this adventure is more important to me than anything in the world. 
Oh, so it could be you, Lisa. We out. Uh, where I start next? Uh, no, we we're in I start. Oh, I'm sorry. Rexwood. Rexwood next? Yeah. And then uh, we'll finish it up with going to Orf, where there should also be people we, we can recruit. Recruiting. Recruiting and tooting. Uh, the end. The end. Oh, there we hey, go. a farmer. I'm Iman. I don't look like a farmer, but I'm actually a great warrior. The only difference is that my weapon is a hoe, but nobody respects me. <laughs> Isn't there any place people would appreciate my skills? Will you mention the town? Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> people must learn to respect the hoe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Suddenly, you a hoe no more. Uh, uh, and go? Yes. I like that, like, all these weird little characters that you recruit just have like a just enough personality to make you kind of feel like they're a, a real person hmm. that's not a no I don't think so so well, let's pop in like a couple more times to see if it, oh there we go hey woodsman <laughs> I have a twin brother <laughs> as I wear it is he gone where has he gone I want to wake at the sunrise and live with nature it would be a great life Nature is calling me. Do you know of any place I can live with nature? This must be fate. Wait for me, promised land. I, Bisu, will be there soon. Cool. What happens if you just like put up and fill your town with a bunch of woodsmen? Oh, it becomes a nature town. Cool. And animals, I guess? Yeah. Um, okay, so fish uh, bell, and then we can... Oh, there isn't, uh, you can't recruit people from... Fishing. I know, I know. Oh. But just to ride to oh, our to town see to see what, what it's yeah. like. And then we'll head to Orf. Yeah. Is it a town yet? Hey, hey kind of. starting to. Uh, were you saying? Oh, you were friends, saying. I was waiting for you. Well, what do you think? Quite a lot has changed since you saw the last town, eh? With all the new immigrants, we're well on our way to creating a bustling metropolis. So I figured it was about time we came up with a name. I've spent many long nights trying to come up with the perfect name, and that name is... Carvile. <laughs> Carvile. <laughs> but, Joe, don't you oh, know the... Oh, it does look like Carvile. Wait, yeah, it would have to have two L's. Yeah, yeah. it's Carvile. Carvile. I actually kind of like it. Is that stately enough for you? I do, I kind of like it too. Do we yeah. just go with it? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, man. Yes, out of all the names I came up with, Carvile was my favorite. Well, then this town shall be Carvile forevermore. And one more thing. If you ever need me, stop by the hut just outside of town. I'm getting to the age where physical labor really takes its toll, so I've decided to concentrate on city planning and management. Please, continue your role as recruiter, and keep telling people about the town. With hard work, we can continue to strengthen the infra infrastructure of Carvile. Hmm. So sick. Cool, cool. I'm feeling awkward asking strangers to immigrate to a place like this. How many immigrants do we need to make this place into a real town? Well, burn to our town already. <laughs> I'm Hannah. I came from Estard. I threw away my past and started a new life here. When your life is full of empty pleasures, starting over is easy. Oh yeah, and Thank that's you. right. It's as the town they have, they have shit we can steal. Yeah. Hello! Long time no see. I'm Miss Cham from Estard. <laughs> You're looking good as always. We still got our big rock. Hey, and the water now? We have, we have a water feature. Sweet. Sweet. I'm Iman, the Who Warrior from Rexwood. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. It seems like we had some more. It seems like we had some more old people. I think we do. Maybe one's like in that house or oh. that little tent. I mean, yeah. Let's uh check the tent for uh. Check the tent. Check the tent. Check it now. Hashtag check the tent. 
Yeah, one tent does not a house or a town make. Hey, Tiny all right. Metal. Tiny metals. Tiny metal in my hand. Tiny metal. Prancing around. Tiny metal. I'm Ash, the soldier you met in Engal. Through hard work, I've made this town safe for its residents. But because it's so safe, there's no one to arrest. I would arrest someone. Well, very good. <laughs> I, Bisu, have left Engal behind and will live here in tune with nature. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and then later on, uh, let's go stop by and see uh, Sim. We can actually start um, with the, you know, uh, evicting people if they don't. <laughs> if they don't fit our town's standards. Right. Uh oh. Oh. Shoot. Dang it. Forgot about, about well lures. How you doing? It's me. I'm the well lure. Um. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Ooh, Gabo. His defense must be shit. Yeah. We just threw on some old gear. To Gabo. Whoa. This thing's tough, man. Can we flee? Ooh. Seems like we should be. Whoa. <laughs> Easy, buddy. You, you, you're like Maribel, you were shocked. I'm so shocked right now. I can't even... Oh. We're doing like no damage to this thing. Ooh. Yeah, we might be uh, in over our heads. Yeah, we're... Uh... Okay. Yeah, let's Hopefully. try to get the fuck out of here. I mean, we're holding our own, but... Yeah. Mm. Have you tried magic? Uh, I don't know. I don't have. My carry doesn't have magic. Uh, Offensive magic. Yeah. Shit. How did it. It's stationary. How can we not run <laughs> away? Flee? Uh, try it. Shit. This is not good. Okay. Is it can we just not flee from this? That's I think uh, we're wasting yeah. Damn it. That's a wipe. Well let's just keep going, let's try to keep fleeing. Damn it! Yeah, we can't flee from it, I don't think. Oof. Damn it. This is gonna be expensive. It's gonna be very expensive. Yep. Shit. Should I try to keep fighting? We're holding our own. Whoa. That's weird. And we lost half our money. <laughs> Ugh. God that sucks. damn it. That sucks a lot. Okay, well, yeah, let's... Well, I tried everybody to tell Joe that we should just keep fighting. That you can check the recording. Ugh. Joe, but Joe insisted. Yeah, it always sucks when you don't have enough money to resurrect everybody. And then you have to, you know... Yeah, that's gonna be some grinding for sure. Yeah. Yeah, next time we get to uh, a new place, maybe do a spot of some level grinding. Mm hmm. Just a. 110, jeez. Oh, ouch. Man, this is gonna clean us out. Yep. Yeah. Like that colonoscopy laxative I had to take. <laughs> okay. TMI. Cleans you up. Yeah. This sucks. I'm mad. I'm frustrated. You mad, bro? I'm mad. Why are there T's on the coffin? T for... Thomas. Terrible... Tuesday. Tortured... Tuesday... Tamriel. <laughs> Tutankhamen. Tutankhamen was found in a coffin. Yeah, it must be. I can't think is of it, any other reason. Would you call that a coffin or a sarcophagus? I mean, I think a sarcophagus is, would just be a kind of coffin. So we still can't tele teleport to Carvile, huh? Kind of a bummer. Oh, maybe it has to have a church first? Okay, now we're going to be uh, super... I don't think we're healed up yet. Okay, I won't fight the, the thing. 
Just gonna talk to the old man. Then we'll hit the wharf. Well, Should I check out what's on this well first? Jesus. <laughs> okay, old man. Steal your stuff. It's dangerous to go all alone. Oh, slime ring. I think that's good. Attack up one. Oh. Well, but strike, we don't... Strike that from the record. Yeah, might as well. Yeah. Well, well, well. Diary. Okay, uh, page one. The weather is fine today. It's too early to call in a town, but the population has been increasing thanks to Carrie and the other party members. I vow to do my best for Carvile in spite of my old age. Carrie and the party members is my favorite, uh... <laughs> I don't know. Never gets old. Um... Striptease crew? No, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, that's... Do you ever see these chairs elsewhere in the game? Like, I, feel like I, th I think I've seen them somewhere. Many have moved here, hooting like mindless sheep. Wow. wow. Slam. Soon this place will be a real town. Thanks to you. A town Please of mindless sheep? Continue to help Carvile develop. I don't know. I no longer like that guy. Uh, let me check. Okay. I was worried that there was something behind those walls, like a pot that potentially had a shard. So let's, uh, yeah, let's head to Orf. Okay, where would be the closest spot to get to Orf? Uh, what? I guess it depends on what platform was it. What? The, each of the... Uh, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just open our map. Oh, directly to the left. Uh, I think you would call that west. Uh, I would maybe call that west. Uh, is it worth resting? I don't. I think we're all healed up, Joe. I Are guess. We? Yeah. We look, oh, we look shoot. fine. Oh, never mind. We're fine. Does our boat have an eye? I think that's where the anchor is. It's got an eye for design. Pretty fly for a boat eye. Hmm. That works. What are you looking for, dude? Just seeing if anything was down there. Not the tee up. <laughs> tee up. Whoa. Oh, okay, talk. What? This place is still full of animals. What's wrong with this town? Huh? What's going on? Aren't we just going in circles? Something is wrong here. There isn't a single person around. Come on, this is even worse than before. Oof, oof. Meow. <laughs> Check the sack. Check all the sacks. It's like, like almost this... never anything in the sacks. Yeah, but sometimes when there is, it's a nice treat. It's a treat. It's a treat. It's a treat, may I repeat. <laughs> it's a very rhymy recording session. Hiro Hapoko, trap at the gate. Hapoko, headed for the castle. He greeted the guards at the entrance. Hi there, I'm a hero, said Hapoko. The soldier answered, the castle already has a hero. To be continued. <laughs> that story <laughs> was awesome. Am I Man, right? Man, have you ever heard such a compelling narrative? <laughs> a poco. I am a hero. <laughs> you sound like uh, Homer Simpson. No. Then now, now I uh, now I gotta be self-conscious of my my voice. Have you ever checked the back side of the weapon shop when in the past? I I'm almost sure that we did. Okay. Check both sacks. The more you know. Always remember to check both. Gurn? Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. nice. It's like, uh, this chest is gurning at us. Do 
do love stealing stuff. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. Hmm, what do we make of all this? Yeah. What do you guys do think? Do we really home? not save the town? I'm very concerned about it. It's a mystery. It's like Nancy Drew mystery. Nancy Drew. I shot and I missed. Nancy Drew. Uh, yeah, Game Grumps. Yeah. Nothing better than stealing other people's bits. Well, I mean, technically it was a bit on Nancy Drew. Nah, I guess. Any hotel registers are lined up here. Makes sense. Context. Bum, 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 bum. So you have nothing to say about the town, Joe? Okay, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's check the, the shack. Ooh. Meow, 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 meow. What did we just walk in on? Will a romantic scene be interrupted? Purr. I, I was kind of hoping they'd say something about that. Hey. Mei Mei. Oh, you go for it. Mei Mei, are you ready yet? Hurry or we'll miss the festivities. <laughs> oh, Elder, you're always in such a rush. I've still got my stockings to put on, baby. I think that's like an Austin Powers baby, like I use. Ho ho ho! Isn't it a little early for that, Mimi? Oh my goodness! <clears throat> we have guests! <laughs> hey, Mimi. Ooh, I'm the maid Mimi, pleased to meet you. The elder just loves his bunny outfit, but this isn't any good for the festival. Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome to the town of Orf. If you're strangers here, you must be wondering what's going on. I bet you thought you had found some strange town full of animals. <laughs> but no. The townspeople are all just wearing costumes. <laughs> We're right in the middle of the Animal Appreciation Festival. A long time ago, this town overcame grave danger through the help of animals. So once a year, we give thanks to them via this festival. All oh, right. Why don't you join in? You've come all this way, after all. Come on, then, Mimi. So you know what this town really is. Open up that drawer. Open up your drawers, boy. So you you know what's about to go down, right? Uh, no. <laughs> what do you think's going to go down? Leave it your idea in the comments below. It's gonna get creepy. Creepy? We don't believe in creepy here at Carriageway. Take a look, honey. Can't yeah. forget to use our death seed. Check both sacks and use the death seed. Tip number one, we were playing Dragon Warrior 7. Use the death seed. What's this? Uh, there are animal costumes in this chest. Will you put them on? Yeah. Haha. <laughs> oh. How why, cool. is, why is Maribel the pink pig? I think she's a girl. Hey, it's the human centipede with pigs. <laughs> yes, in those outfits, I'm sure the townspeople will be more friendly now. Now, hurry up, or you'll miss the main event of the festival. We'll be coming out ourselves, so you go on ahead and have fun. Ooh, so colorful and showy. It looks great on you. This is cool. Bark, 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 I guess that's bark. just a chicken? Are you people? Nope, those are just cats. Maybe one of them is a cat. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Yikes. Hurry to the town square. The main event is about to begin. Look at that. <laughs> Wee. Did it's you like... check the house on the top left? Uh, This one? Yeah. That's cute. <laughs> okay, name another game where you dress as a pig. Uh, Nino Kuni. Oh, damn. You're right. Shows a cute pig face. Cute pig face. What were you thinking? No, I didn't think of anything. It feels like there's even another one. 
I pick these up? This is a pig. <gasps> I, you can turn yourself into a pig in Final Fantasy IV. Oh my gosh. Trip. Trip. He's lapping up water happily. Or he's calling you a drip. <laughs> okay, um, how about we see everybody next time at the Animal Festival? Okay. Hope to see you then, everybody. Okay, bye. Bye.